The Terminalist premiered on Amazon Prime Video in July 2022, and within a month, it had 1.6 billion minutes streamed. Starring Chris Pratt, this blockbuster streaming series is based on the number one New York Times bestselling author and former U.S. Navy SEAL Jack Carr's novel series of the same name. Chris Pratt stars as Lieutenant Commander James Reese, a Navy SEAL team leader whose squadron is ambushed while on a covert mission. Reese is one of only two survivors, and upon his return home, he discovers an ominous conspiracy, setting him on a course to bring adjudication to those who set his team up. This riveting action thriller is heralded with a 95% audience score, and you may be wondering, what guns were used in the terminal list? If you're like me, and most of us I assume, you probably like pointing out the different firearms in your favorite movies and TV shows. It always puts a smile on my face when I see one of my favorite guns on the big screen. Some shows do it better than others, and I'm happy to report The Terminal List does it right. So if you're looking for some high quality firearms and excellent gun handling, this is the show for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The SIG MK25 P226. James Reese's SEAL Team pistol is the well-known SIG MK25, a version of the P226 designed for the Navy SEALs. It features phosphate-coated parts and controls and a chrome-lined barrel for improved corrosion resistance. The double-action, single-action design is hailed for its reliability and dependability in adverse conditions. The MK25 is chambered in 9mm Luger, but there are similar versions of the P226 pistol chambered in 40 s and 357 SIG, and 45 ACP with the P220 and the P227. The Glock 19 Gen 3 TTI. After having his team pistol taken into evidence, Reese carries a Glock 19. However, this is not an ordinary off the shelf G19. Instead, the pistol was a model customized by Terran Tactical Innovations or TTI. The TTI G19 features night sights, flared magwell, stipple job, and an upgraded trigger. TTI is known for making a Glock to the best of its ability, as well as making firearms for popular Hollywood movies and shows. TTI's work is also featured in the John Wick movie series. This is probably the most notable firearm on the terminal list, as Reese can be seen with his pistol throughout the series. For those looking for something a bit more readily available, Edwards is seen using a Glock 19X multiple times in the show. Heckler & Koch HK416 the HK416 is widely issued to the U.S. Navy SEALs. In the season premiere, Commander Reese's SEAL team is equipped with a 10.5 HK416s rocking Vortex AMG UH-1 Red Dots, L3 Insight Technologies PEQ-15s, Cloud Defense Rain Weapon Lights, Magpul PMAGs, and BCM Furniture. The SEALs shoot suppressed with Rugged Suppressors Micro 30 silencers as they embark on their covert operation. Spoiler alert! The HK416 not only opens the series, but it also closes it as the same rifle used by Reese for his infiltration mission in the season finale. The Episode 8 rifle adds an AccuFire and Sentis thermal optic, loses the PEQ-15, and swaps the Cloud Defensive Light for a Streamlight Protec. The Kimber Warrior 1911. One of the firearms that really sets up the story and shows Reese that something isn't quite right with the investigation is the Kimber Warrior 1911. Boozer is known for loving the 1911 and the 45 ACP cartridge, belittling the 9mm and its effectiveness. So when he's found dead with an apparent suicide with a 9mm gunshot wound, Reese senses something's off and decides to investigate further. Later, the pistol is seen more clearly with a threaded barrel and suppressor when Reese uses it to tackle one of the names on his list. The Beretta 1301 and the Benelli M4. Shotgun use in the show is brief, but fortunately we do get to see some spectacular scatter guns. Edwards uses a Beretta 1301 tactical while on a raid in Mexico looking for a Sicario or a Hitman. This is a high-end semi-auto shotgun that features legendary reliability and accuracy. The 1301 incorporates a ghost ring sight with a blade front sight post, enlarged bolt handle, and extended magazine tube. Additionally, Reese is seen packing the Benelli M4 into a Pelican case along with his BCM AR-15. Developed for the USMC, the Benelli M4 is one of the best hard-use shotguns on the planet. The pistol-driven Argo, or auto-regulating gas-operated system, 
is incredibly reliable and Benelli shotguns are made from some of the highest quality components. BCM Reese 14 SX4 When Reese returns to the US, his go-to rifle is a BCM Reese 14 SX4, a 14.5 inch AR-15 essentially. Reese's BCM rifle sports an Aimpoint Micro T2. With an Aimpoint X3C magnifier, MBUS, Cloud Defense Owl High Weapon Light, and a rugged suppressor's three-port muzzle brake. It's also equipped with BCM grips in stock, Magpul sling, burn-proof gear rail wrap, and appears to have a full auto selector switch as well. Reese trusts this setup to do most of the heavy lifting during the series. He carries it during many of his operations in episodes three through six. Echoes Legend Bolt Action. One rifle that gets a fair amount of screen time is the Echoes Legend Bolt Action Rifle. The rifle was passed down to Reese by his father and is used to cross another name off his list. Additionally, the rifle is shown again when Reese is in Mexico when he gives it to Marco, a close family friend, as a parting gift. This 300 Win Mag bolt gun is topped with a Night Force NXS 2.5 to 10x 42mm optic. Reese is known to have skills as a sniper during his time with the SEAL teams, so it only makes sense to include an incredible long range rifle such as this. Rugged Suppressors Reese and his team utilize suppressors consistently throughout the series. In the premiere episode, we see the SEAL unit outfitted with HK416s and the Rugged Micro 30. Shooting suppressed reduces the volume to increase hearing safety. It also minimizes flash and sound signature, collectively improving communication between the team. The Rugged Suppressor's Micro 30 reappears in the series finale as Reese storms an enemy compound with his own HK416. During the raid, we see Reese without hearing protection, but he's still able to hear ambient sound which is one of the benefits of having a suppressor on your firearm. In Episode 2, Reese performs an interrogation on one of his enemies, delivering one of the show's most iconic lines, comment below if you know what it is, while using a Kimber Warrior with his rugged Obsidian 45. The nemesis of the series are seen in Episode 5 with the Obsidian 9 and the Obsidian 45. For honorable mention, we have Winkler Knives R&D Compact Axe. Though it isn't a firearm, the WK R&D is the centerpiece of two of the terminal list greatest scenes. The axe used by James Reese features a maple handle, tribal carvings, and a front spike designed for combat applications. The R&D axe was designed in tandem between master bladesmith Daniel Winkler and renowned Sayak Kali martial arts trainer Raphael Kayanin. The handle was designed with two grips, a standard full throw position and a second close quarter fighting grip that's designed to mimic the grip of a handgun. In episode four, Reese uses his hand ax to confront a man who just killed his family, creating one of the most pivotal interactions in the entire series. Reese deploys the R&D again in the season finale to dispatch a guard that he encounters in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In conclusion, we made it for the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines that went downrange to Iraq and Afghanistan so they could sit on a couch and say, hey, these guys put in the work. They put in the effort to make something special, said Jack Carr. More than 25 former SEALs were included in casting and consulting to ensure the movement, tactics, and gear were grade A accurate. So that wraps up our video. We hope you found the video helpful, and if so, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, please feel free to comment, leave suggestions for future videos, or ask any questions that you may have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you on the next video.